Good morning, everybody. So happy Saturday. Today we have a Packard engine or a Cummins, which is almost the exact same thing. It looks like a 5.9, 8.3 liter, something like that. So anyway, we are gonna go ahead and take a look. Customer says he's got a check engine light or had a check engine light. And it was about something with the regen or the SCR system. Uh, the truck's been here before. Let's see here, I'm just gonna go with the new work order. Sometimes you can just hit cancel, it doesn't really matter. It's nice for your records. Um, this particular truck, so now that we're connected, you're gonna go over to your fault codes on your left-hand side. You're gonna pop up all your different fault codes. Now, depending on the truck, either use the software, the Insight software. So if you can see up here, it's Insight. That's for your Cummins or sometimes the Packer software. You need the day before software for that. Uh, let's see here what we have. We have pretty common fault code 3749 okay gives you a count or in an occurrence of one tells me Knox outlet sensor not rational drifted high okay we also have uh, Knox sensor circuit so it's also very important don't just look okay, at guys, we are back I had to take a quick phone call so interrupted our recording so don't just look at the active code again active code 3749 active one occurrence and it gives you the Knox outlet sensor drift high. However, if you look at that one there, 1887 inactive, okay? An occurrence of 11 times, and you have a Knox sensor circuit voltage. Normally that sensor, okay, shorted. It's either a harness problem, or it's gonna be an actual sensor problem, okay? More than likely my bet is gonna be it's a sensor problem because a few things that I like to consider, number one, the year of the truck, and number two, I like to consider how many miles. This has 278,000 miles on it, okay? So more than likely, the problem is going to be the sensor. Again, always take a look at the old codes just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. EGR valve control circuit, that's not gonna be the problem because I know we just replaced that a few weeks ago, if not a few months ago for this customer, so I'm assuming that's still good. Uh, again, so I'm gonna kind of lean towards Knox outlet sensor, and there we go, Knox outlet sensor, okay? So I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, if the customer wants to replace it now, then he'll have to go buy it and we'll have to replace it and it should all work out. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted again. Fault code 3749, FM, um, there's no FMI, but let's just take a look really quick for the sake of this video. Uh, one thing I do like about this particular program, you can right click on it and it should give you fault trees overview. Okay, it's gonna just ask you to choose, oh, there we go. So it's an ISB 6.7. So you're gonna choose which one it is click on okay and you should get the fault um, the troubleshooting fault code so one of the nice things about the insight program one of the things that I do like about it uh, it doesn't require a subscription unlike the Detroit product which does require a subscription so anyway you will need your program insight uh, if for some reason the insight does not work or does not read properly then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to launch your Davy 4 software so guys hope this video helps out a little bit again don't just look at the code itself kind of look at the history and get an idea of what's going on. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great Saturday. I will talk to you guys later.